Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Okay, so Sunday the 14th of March, Mother's Day here in the UK. So a day where we show appreciation, we show our love and we show how much and how much of a momentous figure our mums, our grandparents, our aunts it could even be. It could be our great-grandparents, it could be somebody who is not necessarily your mum but who you've looked to as a mum. Mother's Day is such a special time and it is a huge, huge occasion and it should be celebrated. So for me, Mother's Day, my mum simply is my best friend. Without her, I would not be me. Only just recently, when I have been really unwell with vertigo, my mum was this solidarity figure just to be able to get me through. There was times throughout this last episode of Vertigo, I really, really thought that I, to be honest, I had those moments where I was really, really unwell. And you question, don't you? Ah, everything, you're at that sort of world's end type feeling. And I had a lot of health problems, but my mum is right beside me. My appointments, my mum is right beside me. I've been quite unfortunate with health problems and things, so my mum has had a lot of stress through that herself. Of course, seeing her sunlight through that is awful, but my mum is absolutely there all the time. And it's not just that, it's the person she is. She always puts herself forward before anybody else. And she just seems to be able to take on the world with it seems effortless, I'm sure, underneath. It's this this sort of, I don't know, this magic, which this sort of incredible, almost like superhero-like figure um, behind my amazing, beautiful mum. And all I can just say is she is so, so special to me and she means everything to me. So a very, very happy Mother's Day to my mum. As I say, she means the world to me. I've been gifted in this life. I've got an incredible parents and my mum is very, very special. So happy Mother's Day to her. My nan, which is my mum's mum. Again, I've been very, very gifted in life because it's almost like that I've had two mums. My nan is very, very special. She is just Absolutely, such an inspirational lady. Of course, my mum is an inspirational lady. She really, really is. Um, and every day, I still live in the family home, and every day I wake up and I have this chat with my mum and I run through with the day and my, my aspirations, my life, where I want my life to be, my dreams, um, and good days, bad days, my mum's there. She has always got the right answer. She's always got the right thing to say. Um, always the most fantastic sort of plan of what to do and the right answer and the right guidance. Um, and it just seems so effortless. My mum just knows, just like that. Um, and my nan very much is like that. So in this life, I've been very, very gifted. And I always say that I I've had two mums. So my nan, I used to spend lots of time with her, and I still do. Um, it's been slightly different with the pandemic, with the COVID virus, because of my nan has Alzheimer's. Um, but we are still very, very close, and I see her as much as I can, very often. Um, very much my mum and my nan are my world um and they're very special ladies my nan knows me i'm 27 and i'm still when i see my nan feel like i'm about five um so yeah nan's house always a very special time the the memories and things i have are so so special um and she's just an incredible lady. She really is an incredible lady. Again, it would almost be like she'd take your hand and she'd stand up against the world and she'd take on anything which was thrown at you. Um, I remember one time when I had, I think it was almost like if somebody had said something or if I had a bad day at school or anything, um, my mum would say something that my nan would jump on top and then you'd have this sort of real strong force. I remember being at primary school actually, which I was, must have been about five at the time. Um, and there was a disagreement or something at the school and I'm one of a twin. And I remember actually seeing my mum at the school with my with the headmistress at the time and my nan was there. And I remember just looking and thinking, wow, that's my mum. Wow, that's my nan. So it's really, really strange. But hopefully you get from this that they are huge parts of my life. Um, and I'm very, very proud. I'm proud to call my mum my mum and I'm proud to call my nan my nan. Um, really, really special. So a very happy Mother's Day to my nan. And of course, I have a very lovely grandma, which is my dad's mum. Um, very, very different ladies, but all the same, still very special. So I have an absolute huge founding respect for grandparents. They hold so much in our life. And I think whilst you have your grandparents, cherish them, treasure them, 
and just ask as many questions because I always used to ask so many questions of my nan about how life was with her growing up and different stories. And I remember staying with my nan Saturday morning before we would go out or anything. My nan would we would have cups of tea and my nan's biscuit tin and all sorts of things. And and it was always very special at nanny's house. And she would tell all these stories and it would and, and it's and it's something which I always hold dear here. So. So yes, absolutely. I always say I've got one nan who is um, my nan is always very, very much into her style and her makeup and her hair and and very, very glamorous. And I've on my other my grandma is uh, almost very, very country, very sort of almost very traditional, um, but loved absolutely all the same. Um, and yeah, as I say, I've got an amazing, amazing mum. I've got an amazing, amazing nan. Gifts from God, and I've got a very, very lovely grandma. So that's Mother's Day. So for you, I hope Mother's Day has been special. We're a little bit late uploading this because I haven't been very well. I'll be very open with my subscribers and my viewers. I suffer with vertigo and I have just been getting over a really nasty, nasty uh, series of vertigo. And it's really knocked me for six. But Mother's Day is very, very special. So I hope you got to enjoy Mother's Day. I hope you support your mum. And let me just share something with you. It does not matter if you have hundreds to spend on your mum or just several pounds. Doing the most smallest thing means the world. It doesn't have to be expensive, just making your mum stay different, doing something spontaneous, doing something special, making her or just telling her if you're just telling her what your mum is to you, what your grandma or your nan or your granny or whatever you call your grandparents or your mum. Let them know how you feel. Let them know what a huge what a huge presence they are in your life. Um, let them know how much you love them, because sadly in this life, if anything has taught us from the COVID pandemic, that we are not promised an indefinite future. We are not promised a tomorrow. So, and I, and I, and I think this is just incredible. This is the saying where well, appreciate what you have today because tomorrow it might not be there. Never put off telling your mum what she means to you. Never put off telling your nan, your grandma, your granny what she means to you. I hope you've had a very special Mother's Day. I'm sorry this was late uploading it, but there will be lots coming more on the channel. But I always like to cover these special days, Mother's Day, Father's Day. They're all so special. So I really hope you've got to spend a really special one with your loved mum, grandma, nan. Um, today, I spoke my mum with all different gifts and my nan. And my grandma lives very far away from me. So I sent her a lovely hamper, tea and Mayfair hamper. I have all sorts of lovely gifts in there. Um, my nan I've spoilt with uh, all different gifts, um, all nan gifts and, and a beautiful necklace and um, all sorts of gifts. And I've got a lovely fur um, throw blanket for her coming as well. Um, and I always buy her um, clothes and things. And we do that really between me and my mum. We put her sort of like a nice hamper together. My nan's very stylish, very glamorous. And she's soon to be 95. So she's doing incredible. And my mum, I always really spoil her with different gifts. What I usually tend to do is my mother looks at things. I always sort of make notes. So if she looks at products and things or clothes and things, I always make notes of it. And I, and I usually then go and do a bit of a spoil sort of spree. And then come Mother's Day, it's this lovely sort of um, union of, of just real, real special times. So that's how I spent my Mother's Day. And I got to see uh, my nan today. Um, unfortunately, because of the COVID uh, restrictions, I had to see my nan for a glass screen, which was very, very difficult. But she got to see her, um, her great her great granddaughter, Sienna, because I visited with my twin brother, um, who was in our bubble following the restrictions here in the UK. So that was really, really special seeing my nan's face. So that was lovely seeing that. Um, and I got to see my nan, which means the world to me. And my mum will be seeing her very, very shortly because it's been a little bit more of a longer sort of time. I'd have loved her to see her mum today, but because she's actually doing more tests to be able to see and spend some time with my nan in her room, um, because my nan is in, I always say like a retirement home, a care home for people with my nan's illness, Alzheimer's, but we're very, very privileged that my nan has a beautiful room, like an apartment, and it's absolutely lovely. It looks beautiful. Um, and I always try and change it in there with all different seasons. So it's full of all different eye-catching things for my nan's illness and it's very very special so my mum's doing a few more tests so she can actually go in and spend some time with my nan holding hands and things um whereas at the moment it's only one per family so that's absolutely fine but very shortly i'll be able to give my nan a big hug
Um, and my grandma, I had a chat with her uh, recently in the last couple of days and wished her well and had a really lovely chat with her as well. Um, and I know that she received her cards and lovely gifts as well. So I've had a fantastic Mother's Day with my mum, my nanny and my grandma. So I hope you've had one as well, just as special. Until next time, we'll see you then. Stay safe, stay safe. Stay safe. <laughs> stay safe until next time. Stay well and love your mum, your grandma, your nan. I'm sure you do. Until next time, we we'll see you then. Bye bye now.